PWM, or Pulse Width Modulation, is a very versatile technology. Not only can it be used to control the power output of an electronic device, like the speed of an electric motor, or the brightness of a light bulb, it can also be used to transmit data. But how does PWM work? OK, so first of all, let's take a look at this electric circuit. It consists out of a 12 volt DC power supply, a switch, and a light bulb. When you flip the switch, 12 volts is applied to the light bulb, and therefore it lights up. When you flip the switch again, 0 volts is applied to the bulb, and therefore it turns off. Now, being able to turn a light bulb on and off is great, but we want to be able to control the brightness of the light bulb, not just full power and off. The traditional way of doing this is by using resistors. A resistor is basically a device that consumes some electrical energy. By inserting a resistor, the voltage that is applied to the light bulb decreases, which means by adding more resistors we can dim the light bulb. Controlling the brightness using resistors isn't a great solution, however, since resistors waste energy. By dimming a light bulb using resistors, the energy consumption doesn't actually decrease since resistors just consume the remaining energy and turn it into useless heat. This is where PWM comes in. Let's replace a 12 volt power supply with a PWM 12 volt power supply. Instead of constantly supplying 12 volts, this power supply turns the power on and off very rapidly many, many times in one second. As you can see in the graph, 50% of the time the power is turned on, and the other 50% of the time the power is turned off. Since this switching goes so fast, it will look like the light bulb is 50% as bright. By adjusting the settings of the power supply, we can change these percentages. We can set it to 90% on, 10% off to make the light bulb much brighter, and we can even set the power supply to 100% on, like a normal power supply. It's also possible to set it to a very low on time to dim the light bulb. So by varying the on time, aka the duty cycle, we can control the brightness of the light bulb. And that light bulb can also be replaced with other electronic devices, like an electric motor. The speed of the fans in your computer is also controlled using PWM. PWM can also be used to encode information in radio signals and other signals. By turning a radio transmitter on and off rapidly and varying the width of each pulse, data can be transmitted, kind of like Morse code. So there you go, now you know how PWM works. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.